Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Vector 2, a fantasy of this moon. In the last episode, I came back after being sick and a bunch of other things for quite a while, and we got a crap ton of accessories done. And that's the majority of what we did yesterday? We did a couple quests for uh, Tanya, but otherwise it was mainly just focusing on that. So today we'll be doing the same. Okay, all watered up. Okay, so first, let's start with the diamond. An insect jaw, an arrowhead, quality skin, a skull, and one bronze. All mixed together for the level 46 recipe. The brand glasses. Like I said last episode, I didn't mind shipping those because I was going to make one anyway. And like we did before, a pair of brand glasses with a single bronze is a level 49 upgrade. Plenty of experience right there. Or, wait, what? Two bronze. Okay, I have it wrong on there. So we have a 73% chance of... Failure. Brand glasses. Because that's higher level than me, it's a decent amount of experience. Middle of the E at this level. Come on, really? Okay, from the middle of the E all the way up to the middle of the V. So around three letters worth, so not bad for this point. We could burn off a lot of bronze that way. The next recipe is a strong string, a bird wing, another bird wing, quality cloth, a fur, and one hood all together make the level 36 recipe, the fancy hat. What's that? A hat? A crazy fancy hat? Now, if you want to upgrade this, it's actually the 47 recipe, which requires one bronze, one silver, one gold. We will not be doing that, but I could lead it into another item. Okay. Oh, Cammy wants me to give something to her. Or, to someone. Uh, yeah, we can't do Hornet until tonight anyway, so let's do this for Cammy. Of course, can't get into people's houses, what am I thinking? Okay, and as it's day and not 9 a.m. yet, I'm going to be taking Kane up here to try to grab energy. Meh. And successfully head up here to fight this burb. I need three bird wings today, at least, if not more, and it can't be off screen like this. If it would actually drop any, that is. Wow. This guy's kind of the worst. Reset that guy. Oh, got one at least. Number two, just one more. Got it. Now it's time for the level 36 recipe, the Earth Pendant. One hard horn, one sparkle string, one quality fur or quality skin, I don't remember which one it is. A pendant, an earth crystal, and a ruby. Here we are. We can take a fancy hat, a bright red eye-catching hat. Well ventilated, you can wear it for hours on end. And an earth pendant, a pendant shaped to invoke images of earth, a strong powerful shape. And we're going to sell them. I don't know if it's the day or not. It is! It's honey day! Honey. Honey gathered for the, from the, for the queen bee, yeah. Its nutritional value along with its natural sweetness make it a hit. So, that's rad. We love to see that. Okay. So, I'm going to need to save here.
Do not need emeralds. I still don't need emeralds. Still don't need emeralds, and I got one Algamarine. I think I need two, though. I think I only need one. I'm going to need more on future days when I have gold. But that should be it for now. So we got the one we needed for today. I also can't give gifts if I don't have these, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Probably. I don't know. All right. Now here at the accessory crafting with one Agua Marine, one water crystal, a tortoise shell, gunpowder, a plant stem, and a pendant. All together. Make the level 46 recipe the tier pendant. Now the tier pendant is a level 49 upgrade, so this also could be something you use to upgrade. I won't be, but you know, just one silver is not too bad. So I believe Wally's producing medium-sized fleeces now, so that's perfect. I will actually need hoods at some point, because I only have one left. So I'll kill those as I go through at the very least, but what I'm really aiming for are these. You just need a fish fossil from these. And the question is, when do I go to the end of this dungeon? Because, like, I've been thinking about it, and the thing stopping me from finishing my crafting log, my ship list, is dungeon progress. I can't get to the final bit of the game until I do this. So should I take care of this? Maybe in the next few days. I guess what I'm going to do is, between the next episode and now, if I could really hit this guy, I'm not proving my skill right now, <laughs> I will go through and I will check everything. I have a couple things I want to do before then, so it could be next episode, it could be three episodes from now, it'll be soon. It'll be before the end of spring. I have no reason to make this last longer than spring for dungeon progress. Well, sadly no gold. So I kind of need another fish fossil. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't need any of this bronze. I don't know why I'm trying to keep it. I don't need this scrap iron. Level up again. I got one between episodes as well. Which is kind of insane. I need to get a few insect jaws for things, so I started just, you know, farming them for a short bit. The last hour or so I had. There we go. Hood. Oh, there we go. Go back to the barn. Okay. Okay! Oh. Seafood Gratin. Uh. Okay. Future Gabe, take note. Om and om and om. And now take note. Notice what's different? Because I don't. <laughs> Not enough. That's why. Okay. Tear pendant. A pendant shaped like a tear. Makes all who look at it feel a little sad. And all the other stuff in this little area up here because it's money and I really don't need this. Hi Arya, what's up? Hi, I came to ask you about your message on the bulletin board. Oh, that? Actually, it's kind of a secret. I made a present for my sister, but I'm too embarrassed to give it to her, so I was wondering if you'd give it to her for me. Wow, Kimmy, that's great. You made her a present? Yeah! So, will you give it to her for me, Aria? Sure, I'll go give it to her. Thanks, you're so helpful! Okay, here you go. Receive the heart pendant. Deliver it to my sister, okay? Hi, in a minute. I'm hoping he's... No, of course he's never where I need him. I waited until afternoon because I forgot. And now he's not here, so I can't get him to build stuff for me. Heart Pendant. 
Oh, what's this for? Cammy asked me to bring it to you. She made it herself. She said she said she was too embarrassed to give it to you in person. Oh, Cammy, this is so nice. And you say she made it herself. Please tell her thank you for me. Oh, and thank you too, Arya. No problem. So, you gave it to my sister for me. Did she like it? Yeah, she really liked it. She was so happy. Oh, goody. To thank you for giving it to her, I want to give you this. You got the heart pendant. Hmm? Isn't it cute? Please take good care of it. Of course. Thank you, Cammy. Thanks again, Arya. The heart pendant. That thing that we already made. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, like I said, I want to create one of every object, one of every item, so even if you can buy it, even if you can, like, you know, get it through a quest, I still want to have made it. So even if I know that I'm going to be getting a, like, heart pen, for instance, I still want to be able to have made it. Alright, we're going to ship this as well, because we don't need it. So we're going to accept this, but we're not going to actually talk to her until a little bit later. You'll... I, I have a raisin. Supposedly, if you do this right here... You can fish over here? Oh! Okay! Okay. Thanks, internet. What? I... I was trying to look up exactly how I would deal with Herman's request. And I wasn't sure how I would handle this. And then... I found a thread talking about the easiest way to get it. And how some people are getting it on the first try with their intermediate rod. It was almost guaranteed with the famous rod. And you could just fish in the water down there under the tree, which you cannot see. You can barely tell that it's supposed to attach there on the map. And I got one. Um, lover snapper, rare breed of snapper, so rare that its very existence is debated among fishermen. Uh, what level is this recipe and what level am I? So my cooking is level 32. That is obviously not going to be good enough, but we'll check. So it looks like I need to start grinding my cooking as fast as possible. But yeah, this would be a good way to earn money. Like, really easily. If you don't have good money, like, this is like 500 per cast, if you're getting them every time. That is not bad. So I think I'm going to have to shift gears. <laughs> well, if anyone wants information on this, thank you, Heleshev, Covert Bob, and a design girl 13 years ago for making a Game Facts post. This is convenient. I was, I was just like thinking about where I need to get one because I want to hold on to it. I may already have one. I really don't remember it's been that long. But I needed one. Alright. Especially thanks to a design girl. Because her instructions were incredibly clear about exactly what you need to do. You just fish right there in that spot. You've obtained some real skills. I'm gonna push you a little more hard this, a little more this time. Then, oh, you did feed ten hornets. It's a bee-like monster. Do you remember when insects, when insect monsters usually active? Come on, hornets dwell in Machina Valley. Be careful. Yep. Yeah, so tonight we'll deal with that. Okay. So here at the crossroad, let Cain deal with the silver wolf. While I deal with this spawner. Alright, perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. First try, cool.
Here at the accessory crafting, we're going to make a very familiar recipe from last episode. Using three silver shoulder piece, a wolf fang, and a broken hilt. Now using the silver hairpin we just made, we're going to take two more gold, a fish fossil, a fairy powder, and a glue, all combined together to make the level 49 recipe, the gold hairpin. Skill level increased. Only one more fingernail and three pairs of gloves. Perish. Give me your gloves. So that's one. My issue with these guys is that they spawn so close to their spawner. So that happens. And their drop rate really isn't good enough to warrant running off screen and back on constantly. Why can't I find any gloves? There we go. And a third pair. Nice. That's all the ones I need. Stop that. I got another skill up, and I got the one finger now I needed. Goodbye! Here we go, and I got a strong vine. Goodbye! Wait, Power Glove, isn't that the thing I already made? So supposedly I haven't made this. But I have a vague memory of making this for a quest for Bear. You know, I'm actually going to look up that quest before I make this, because I'm very confused. Yeah, I've absolutely made this. It says I've made it, but I haven't shipped it. So I guess I needed to make it... I guess it consumes it? I guess he doesn't give them back? So we've already learned how to do this, so let's just do it again. It's only level 19 recipe, it's pretty dang easy to do. 100%. Okay, that's the last pair of gloves that I need to ship. Alright. Alrighty, so the level 42 recipe, which takes a giant's fingernail, a skull, a bird's feather, a pendant, a sapphire, and finally the wind crystal to make... The gale pendant. The final pendant... Mostly. There's one more, but we can't make that one yet. So we'll get to that at another time. Okay. Gale Pendant. A pendant created to invoke images of wind. Has a striking freeform flowing design. The Power Gloves. Gloves that tightly fit the hands. Allows heavy items to be lifted with ease. And the Gold Hairpin. A traditional accessory from the Far East. Gold plated is a gorgeous hairpin. I will have to remake that on my own time, because I was not properly lined up. <sighs> okay! Thanks, Gabe, you're great! You're the best! Ah! <laughs> I'm so dumb sometimes! It's fine! Fine, I may be dumb, but at least I'm pretty.
Okay, I got at least one, and that's fine. I need to guarantee at least one. And I got a second. Cool. Alright. Now. We're actually heading back over here. I need to beat up a bunch of squirrels again. I actually need three fur. So, we do it. Bad. Number one. Level up again. My luck is abysmal. I say yes, I get a fur. And that's what I need. All right, port it time. So I just realized it never popped, which means these aren't right. Or did I never accept the request? No, I did. I, I absolutely did. Wish they would stop being absolutely awful. Nope, still not right. Where, then? These are the ones. There we go. And they're hiding in the middle of my field. I, I hate it here. Go five. There we go, done. Are you in bed? No? Where are you? What? Maybe the bathhouse? There you are. Welcome back. Was it a bit too much for you? Still, you managed to overcome it? Okay, and here's your ward. I think you must have gotten quite a lot saved up by now. 3500G. Oh, I've got something else for you, too? You've got the gorgeous sword. I think you finally made it. You're finally a top fighter, are ya? Alright. The gorgeous sword. As the name implies, simply gorgeous. Its white color signifi signifies reservation and taste. So, as you might guess, it's not as good as our current weapon, but our current level weapon's also level 10. I think this weapon would actually be better than ours if we were to upgrade it. So, not bad, not bad. Alright. Okay. Bath time! Okay, and for the second time this episode, we take... Two bird wings, a fur, a hood, a quality cloth, and a strong string all together to make the fancy hat. 
And now we take that fancy hat, combine it with glue, bird wing, quality fur or skin, I'm not sure which, shoulder piece, and a f uh, fish fossil. We have a chance of making... Nope. To have a chance of making... The feathered cap. That is a level 51 recipe. Yeah, so we had a 64% chance. And we have a 10% chance of upgrading it. Interesting. That's a 57 upgrade, so wouldn't it be bad if you were to get a bunch of the bird wings? And now we take two fur, a little crystal, fire crystal, giant's gloves, and a hood all together to make the fireproof hood. This one's only a level 16 recipe. Let's see, I'm between the R and I currently. 10% chance, let's do it. There we go, only took five times. Skill level increased. As it should. I went between the R and the I up until the beginning of the first E. Not bad, not bad. So it would be worth doing that to grind those out and use that as a grind thing. I'll see what else I could do. I have plenty of recipes left to make. Um, a lot of them require gold, so that'll be my goal for now. I decided to look up the Gorgeous Sword to see what it would take to upgrade it. Uh, it's a level 76 recipe. So that's a no on upgrading that, sadly. For a little while, at least. My forging is only 40, currently. Ha. Huh. Wild. Okay. Fireproof hood. Safety first. A hood made from material that's highly resistant to fire. So, yeah, it gives you fire resistance, but I don't need it. It's fine. Goodbye. And guys, next time when Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. We... How to put this? I'm not sure whether it'll be next episode, the episode after that, or maybe three episodes from now, but very soon we'll be taking on the boss of Padova Mountains. Beyond that, I'll of course be doing more cooking, more foraging, more uh, accessory crafting, all that. I plan on 100%ing this game. So crafting is the name of the game. Beyond that, I'm going to tonight spend all of the energy and all the time I can grinding up gold. I need it. I need a lot of it. I've hardly touched the brooches at all. So that'll be a thing. Beyond that, I'll probably use up whatever energy I have left just using up my bronze on my uh, brand glasses. I know it's not good, ex you know, experience anymore, but it's still experience. I'll decide whether or not that's actually worth doing or if I should just sell a couple stacks of my bronze because my inventory is a bit stuffed full at this point. I'll figure it out, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm sorry if this one is probably a little bit short, but I, you know, I figure take things at my own pace. Don't let myself get burned out. See you all next time. Bye-bye.